Hey, and welcome in to Vinny Rotino Baseball Academy. This is the channel where we are breaking down players. We're taking a look at swings. We're having you guys send in swings for me to take a look at and see if I can offer any kind of instructional help virtually. And I uh, hope you guys like the channel. Uh, if you do, please subscribe. Uh, helps out. Um, trying to build up that subscribership for sure, but also just um, really just like like the interaction, like having you guys uh, give me some positive feedback about the channel. I really enjoyed doing this, uh, giving back to the game a little bit, best I can. So um, please continue to do so. But um, today we're going to be looking at a player, Will Ernster, played with Ryan Ernst Ernster, his dad at UW Lacrosse, really good friend of mine. Um, but we're going to be looking at Will Ernster, 12-year-old shortstop, leadoff hitter for the Prior Lake Lakers. Um and he's a good-looking ball player. Uh, he's got some things that he does really, really well, and we're going to take a look at that. And but before we do that, we're gonna. Uh, I'm going to let you know that this channel is brought to you by Maggie Retino Real Estate. Make sure you're reaching out to my wife Maggie on Instagram, or uh, she does not have a Twitter, but on Instagram or Facebook, if you are in the market to buy or sell, or reach out to her little brother Ricky Kuiper, who has joined her team. Between Maggie and Ricky, they are the name in real estate in southeastern Wisconsin. So make sure you're hitting them up if you are in the market. They do a great job. Also brought to you by Lockdown Brewers Podcast. Dom Catronio and I are breaking down all things Milwaukee Brewers during this lockout three days a week. Once the lockout ends, we will be talking about the Brewers for five days a week on our podcast. Lockdown Brewers Podcast It's where you're going to get all your Brewers news and highlights and uh, conversation. So Make sure you subscribe to that as well. But uh, okay, let's go ahead. Let's take a look at Will Ernster. Good looking player. We're gonna we're gonna compare him to Jose Bautista. Okay. And we're gonna take a look at the setup. I like the setup. <clears throat> it's athletic setup. So what I tell kids and parents when I'm so a lot of times I'll I'll make sure. Um, that I am relaying this information to the parents or the coaches of the player that I'm working with to make sure that we're all on the same page. What you don't want to have is multiple mixed messages, kind of bombarding, bombarding the players. Um, and so we try and communicate. We try and just kind of uh, give suggestions and keep everybody in the loop as to what we're working on. Because again, you don't want the player to be confused. I remember that as a player you have multiple coaches telling you multiple things and then you don't really buy into the one thing that you really kind of understand or what you think you understand about your swing. And then all of a sudden someone's telling you something else. So that is important. So what I tell kids is in the setup, <clears throat> it's similar to just like an athletic setup from uh, baseball. I'm sorry, from like basketball or football. Um, you just want to kind of have some flex in the legs. You want to have your feet about shoulder width apart. And you just, you, again, you just want to be athletic. Um, you want to be able to do something athletic from, from your setup in the swing. So you can see Will does a great job of doing that. And then also you see uh, Jose Bautista doing, you know, obviously he's got a very athletic setup as well. So let's go ahead and we're going to take a look at Will's swing. Just look at the bottom swing a couple times through in full speed right here. Okay. Really quick hands, 12-year-old. Um, athletic move here with the swing uses the ground really well, but what we're going to take a look at is we're going to compare between Bautista. Look at Jose Bautista. This is a really impressive position that Jose Bautista gets in. This is right before launch. This is at heel plant, which we talk about a lot on this channel. What, what it looks like and where the hands are and where the lower body is and where the pressures are in the feet when they engage the ground at front heel plant. We want both heels on the ground and we want our hands still in the loaded position and our scap still kind of loaded up. Our scap meaning that right elbow kind of loaded up back and up. And that's going to allow ourselves, ourselves to transfer that energy from the ground up to the hands. And then obviously last comes the barrel. But um, so Will actually does a really good job especially at this age, you see a lot of players kind of um, not engage the ground real well. And then you can, what you'll see because of that is their hands start to leak 
down into the hitting position because um, they're just not engaging the ground properly. So their brains say to them, okay, I got to start the hands a little bit earlier in order to get the barrel there. You don't see that here from Will. This is a really good hitting position. I am going to point out just if you take a look at this spine angle, right? So if you draw a line and I'm going to draw lines for you guys from the belt buckle on up through his head, there's going to be a slight angle back. Whereas if you drew a line from Jose Bautista's belt, belt buckle all the way through his head, um, it's going to be kind of more of a stacked position where his, his body's going to be a little bit more, you know, more up upright. Whereas you see Will and you see this, from time to time from even major leaguers where will is at where is just slightly back of center a um, little bit unfair of me to say if this is an issue or not for him because i haven't seen how the ball comes off the barrel if he's hitting line drives and if he's staying to and through the baseball really well then i'm not going to address this with a younger player um but it, it all just depends on how he's hitting the baseball. So if he's is getting underneath, if he's losing the barrel, meaning he's swinging a little bit underneath the baseball, if he's pulling off the ball, then I'm going to go ahead and have him just slightly. What I tell kids is keep that left shoulder down longer in the swing. Let's keep that left shoulder lower than the right shoulder. You can see how Bautista's Jose Bautista's left shoulder is slightly lower than the right shoulder here at launch. It's a really strong position to hit from. And again, how I equate this to kids and to players is I say, okay, if I was a boxer and I was throwing a punch at a target that was out in front of me and a little bit lower that, you know, a little bit near my waist height, I would have this same posture that Jose Bautista has where that left shoulder is going to be down. I wouldn't have a posture where I was kind of tilt back a little bit where the where the left shoulder, the front shoulder is going to be higher than the, than the back. Okay, so I'll continue on after that kind of um, explanation of our posture at heel plant, of where the ideal position is, but let's keep going. And that's really the only thing that I would kind of watch. So here's that line. And again, it's not directly on the belt buckle. But then here's Bautista. See how it's a little bit more upright. Will's is a little bit back. Again, it's not fair. I didn't draw it perfectly at his belt buckle. It was just a few degrees back of center. Uh, I would just keep an eye on that, okay? He actually does a really good job of leveling out those shoulders, especially on this high pitch, and then getting through the baseball here. So I wouldn't necessarily think this is an issue. You can see how it is different from Jose Bautista's where it is a little bit more stacked. See how stacked that is, that back knee, the thing of beauty, actually. That back knee is um, that back knee is right underneath him, right underneath that right hip, right underneath that right shoulder. And again, everything is, is stacked. And this is an exaggeration on that line that I drew for Will, where he is kind of back of, of center. He isn't quite as stacked. Um, his head is essentially creating some space for his arms to kind of get to that barrel through. And he actually smashed this ball. So this kid's got talent. This kid's got ability. This guy, this kid's got really good hand-eye coordination um, where he's able to kind of compensate a little bit for that posture. And that's a plus, right? I think I did Jason Bay the other day. That was a swing that was also back of center, that little spine tilt back. And he had such good hand-eye coordination, such strong hands. He had 30, 30 home runs in the big leagues every year in a tough ballpark in Pittsburgh. So all this stuff is just suggestions and stuff you just kind of want to keep your eye on. It's not necessarily stuff you need to or want to change all the time with players. Everybody moves differently. So again, I think this channel is designed to just talk through some of this stuff with you guys to just keep your eye on it and just kind of understand that everybody's different and every player moves differently and that's it. And you just kind of want to watch stuff and throw suggestions out if they make sense to the player. So there is no cookie cutter approach to this, but these are the things that I would kind of watch here with Will. And again, it's very slight and it looks like the kid can hit. Um, so anyway, everything else looks really good. He, again, the, the way he uses the ground is really, really impressive. Um, and so this is a great job right here. Um, it looks like he's going to be a good player.
Um, and I'm going to go ahead and follow him and make sure um, if you have suggest or if you have questions about this and if you um, need any more feedback on this, Ryan, you know, Ryan's a good friend of mine. Um, we will be in contact and any of you guys, if anybody needs questions answered, please, uh, engage me on social media. You can engage me in the comment section. I'd, I'd love to, I love talking baseball. So I love chatting through this stuff. So I did want to just kind of, um, do one more item here on this video real quick before we sign off. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at one other item here and I'm going to share my screen one more time. Okay. And I'm getting a little faster at this technology. Okay. Here it is. So we're going to take a look. I got one other, I got one other entry and this is from Ryan Ernster gentleman. I played with at UW lacrosse, a really good friend of mine. We're going to take a look at his swing. So look at this setup. That is a thing of beauty right here. See how that left shoulder is a little bit lower than the right shoulder. He is in a very strong hitting position and he is going to, he's going to have a great take right there. And then he's going to go ahead and collapse on that front side. So much better swing than you had when you were UW lacrosse Eagle, Ryan. Um, but let's go ahead and firm up that front side. You're collapsing right into that and you're leaving a lot of power um behind and a lot of leverage so anyway there's my breakdown of your swing it was but uh your son's got a bright future and i'm looking forward to continuing to follow him thanks for uh tuning in everybody and we will talk to you next time